This is Past Force. If you're a king or an emperor and you live to see old age, you might assume that your tomb, your monument, your magnificent edifice will last forever. That in 3,000 years time people will look upon your works and despair. But it's simply not true. The tombs of kings, of emperors, they can, and they do, disappear. In Britain, most of the English monarchs, we know where they were buried. A lot of them were originally buried in Winchester Cathedral, later on Westminster Abbey, and later still St George's Chapel, Windsor. A few of them, however, their tombs have been destroyed. So Alfred the Great, Edward the Elder, Stephen, Henry the First, they were all buried in abbeys. And when Henry the Eighth decided he didn't want to be friends with the Pope anymore, and these monastic orders were destroyed, so too were the tombs of these kings. But still, we know where they were buried originally. In Scotland, we know where most of the Scottish monarchs were buried. A lot of them were buried on Iona, or in Holyrood Abbey, which is in Edinburgh. We know where most of them were. Wales is a different story entirely. Out of approximately 200 native Welsh princes, we only know where six of them were buried. And of those six, only three are still in existence. There is Resap Griffith, who died in 1197, and he is buried in St David's in Pembrokeshire. Bangor Cathedral has two burials. It has Gruffith Ap Cunnan, who died in 1137, and Owen Gwynev, who died in 1170. Owen Gwynev is an interesting one because he was excommunicated by the Pope for marrying his cousin. And the Pope said, you can't bury him in Bangor Cathedral, move him, he's excommunicated, why is he on holy ground? The monks of Bangor Cathedral, the, uh, the what do you call it, the people who work there, the clerics and the, and the bishops and what have you, they, they defied that order and he is still in Bangor Cathedral to this day. Or at least his tomb is. Llewellyn Ap Yorworth, known as Llewellyn the Great, he was buried at Abercombe, but his tomb was destroyed, and not by Henry VIII, but by Edward I. Because when, in 1282, Edward I came along and conquered Wales, he decided, on top of Abercombe Abbey, he was going to build a massive castle. Conway Castle. So... Llewellyn's remains were moved to Maynard Abbey, further down the river. And then Henry VIII came along. And now all we have is Llewellyn's sarcophagus, which is in the porch of the church in Llanroost. Similarly, there is Daffith at Llewellyn, who was also buried in Abercombe. But what happened to his remains? We don't know. And finally we have Clewellyn Ap Griffith, who was killed in 1282, December 1282. His head was decapitated from his body, and his body was taken to Come Here Abbey, where it stayed until Henry VIII came along and decided he didn't want to be friends with the Pope anymore. As for his head, that was sent to London, 
where it was placed on the gates of the Tower of London and it was allegedly still there 15 years later. It's not there now, so what happened to it is a complete mystery. But as to the other 194 Welsh princes, we don't have a single clue as to where they were buried. Welsh medieval records are scant at best. And even then, they've not been studied in any great detail. Even some of the greatest Welsh princes, like Howell Var, we don't know where they were buried. As to Howell Var, there was, in 1875, a hoax about his burial site being discovered. A letter in the Western Mail claimed that he had been discovered, his tomb had been discovered in Clan Stephen Church in Powys. It turned out to be a hoax, it wasn't true. There are similar stories regarding Owen Glendua as well, but nobody even knows when he died, so saying where he's buried, you're stabbing in the dark. It just goes to show, kings and emperors, if you think your monument will last forever, it won't. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look upon my works, you mighty and despair. And what were those works? Just two legs of stone, standing in the desert. And in time, maybe that's the best you can hope for. History! It's a thing of the past. It's a thing of the past.